Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another review of Star Wars The Acolyte. We're talking episode six now, and we just saw it. And it was, I'll give it credit, it is up there with some of the longest episodes of the season thus far, but that's not really saying much. Um, Osha, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, but with me, I have a mini round table with us. We have Sam, Busy, Jenna, Mike, and Ant Gold. Muchachos, how are we doing? How are you feeling after this sixth episode of The Acolyte? What's going on? I, I actually am fine with this. Uh, but I didn't go into this episode with any high expectations of anything. I did not think that they were going to go into the flashbacks this episode just based on how this started. Um, I do find it very intriguing what he's doing to Osha. But I think the most interesting thing for me is I've said since episode two that something just didn't sit right with me with any of the Jedi that were a part of that that coup or that situation with the witches. And I've always kind of felt like soul had a little bit of darkness that was tied to him. And I, I, I want to definitely talk towards that a little bit, but um, it was definitely something that he did in this episode that kind of made me like confirm some things about, about that. But I'm more intrigued to see where Osha is going to go with this, because at the end of the day, we said the last episode, this isn't about the Jedi. This is, this is really about the acolyte. So I'm cool with it, but I got things to talk about for sure. How about the rest of y'all? Who's got feelings? You gave me a close up. Um, <laughs> I wish this was a movie because, again, um, I think there's good things in here and interesting concepts. It took me a minute to wait to see like where they were going with terms of the perspective of dark side. Uh, what's his name? Chimere. I like him, man. You know, listen, the Asians are running this run the show. You got Soul and you got Chimere. They're they're cool. They're cool. I'm not going to say I don't like them. They have charisma. They got, you know, at least some effort in their writing or their character development. And I see some cosplay for San Diego Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. Now, whether, they, whether they, might, they might get jumped by other Star Wars fans, you know, on the opposite spectrum, I don't know. I'm just saying you ain't going to get any hands from me because I actually think it look cool. Oh, um, I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. Um, but anyway, um, I'm, I'm mid on this and stuff. And I um, just, just want to see how where this go and just... You know, okay. Uh, and I've come to see this show that some consider unnatural. So look. Honestly, uh, it's no secret that I think this show has been poorly written for the first half of it, and then we had episode five that I think did a good job of entertaining. Um, that said, I don't think this episode was a it was a frustrating episode at times, but not really a bad episode. It was it was more. I, th I think I got it. I think that this is this reminds me of like fourth mm -hmm. wing type of writing, them like uh, the book top title writing, writing with the dark. The dark misunderstood soul and the and the special uh, woman that's going to change him and all that. But I think there's a lot of I think the people that were the Kylo and Ray stands. I think they're going to eat this up. I, I don't think it was bad, but I understand if this is not for everybody. If that makes sense, that's valid. How about you, busy? I'm excited to see where this goes, man. I mean, I don't know. I, I... With the way episode five played out, I didn't think that we were going to be able to top it in this episode, but I still wanted to, you know, hold out hope and have it be an interesting episode. I'm really liking what they're doing with the um, the villain, if you will. Uh, the whole Osha and May thing, they're both frustrating me on both sides of things, so I'm really excited to just learn more. Um, with the whole soul situation, it's been, you know, giving me a headache because I really don't know what the end game with his character is, and... Um, this episode just really just made me have a whole bunch of questions considering, uh, you know, how sneaky he's being, uh, the fact that he's clearly not sharing the whole story. We all want flashbacks, so I'm waiting for that to happen. But um, <laughs> it's just going to come down to seeing when we get all these answers and flashbacks and all this crap. But uh, overall, I mean, it was a cool episode, I guess, but nothing's topping episode five. 
Oof. I'm kind of scared to, to, to agree with that. Um, this is the first time that since watching the show, the some of the valid criticism has been like hitting me now. Like I, I am seeing that way now a little bit, which in some regards is kind of sad, but in some regards, I'm like, well, this is a choice. This is a choice. Like these characters are choosing to behave this way. This is a choice to present this story. Um, I I have to give, and again, people will be like, oh my god, it's, it's the Soul Show, and other. I'll say this: that Lin Jung Jae at times, what was unique about the character when how he's performing is that you didn't know if he, if he knew who was on his ship or not to an extent. Mm. At points, you're like, okay, he's still conflicted. Like there's a lot of emotions wrapping around his head. But yet, you're, I was waiting to see a tilt of the head or him looking sideways. Wanted to see, okay, is this a moment where he caught where that was an OSHA, if you will? Um, so, and again, I think Sam said it best that once May is strapped on, on that table and how he was like, we're going to have a talk. It was just like, so what are you doing? This isn't the way. You're like, you're, like, you're presenting, you're going to talk to her, but you're, it seems almost like interrogation stuff here, if you will. Um, and I, I'm sad to say that for the first time since I've started the show, the soul side was kind of the least thing I was wanting to pay attention on in this episode. It was the Kamir side, mm-hmm. him doing his um, what's what's the you know the the, the stereotypical Seduction. anime stuff of like the bad guy who you know is uh, fascinating more than the heroes, and he's hot, and you know he he probably he's he goes butt naked at one point and. <laughs> You know, like I was, I was like, okay, cool. I've seen this trend before, and I'm intrigued by it. But I was just really shocked on um, the the shift in my attention with this episode. And you know, there's some cool music um, bites, if you will, where they use. Oh, Jesus Christ! Mm. Um, That's a good one, I guess. Lord Mike. <laughs> Lord, Mike. let's let's see, Lord Mike, because the camera was on you. Um, do you? Fuck, I don't even have to go with, with this episode. Like, <laughs> at this point, do you feel like like fuck the Jedi at this point? I mean, it's in your username, but you're like, is this this getting out of proportion? And you're like, are we really going down this path of how it's gonna lead in a hundred years in Phantom Menace? Or are you like, all right, show me what you got? Or you're just like, no, fuck this already. Um, no, I'm not. At which to quote, you know, your words and stuff. No, I'm not like fuck the Jedi. You know, I'm like fuck this show. But like, you know, like I'm. Um, but with the, some of the themes that they're doing, I don't. I don't have an issue with terms of your changing the perspective at a particular time in history mm. um, of the Jedi. Because again, you take any religion, any group, organization to have a mass history, especially if expanding 100 years, if you want to just self-reflect in our own culture and everything. There are some periods where we're not being viewed in the best light and might might not be because of male practice, might be because of hypocrisy, especially when you get into religion. Yes, we definitely have all religions have a period where it's not, you know, their brightest day under the sun, you know, and might give their image, you know, being viewed as... um not as you know edifying whatever as we might think they are um again everybody people have it and every even even non-religious folks or whatever but the point was saying this i don't have an issue with it i think the more in terms of the consistency um of of connecting the plot in terms of what's the end goal here because this is my thing i actually am intrigued with kyman i hope that i'm aside from giving the raylo vibes and stuff i wish you would start off the season with that because again we're still getting out like we're still in a viewing point of this is just you know a sister from the glide side and then going interacting with the sister of the dark side now if it's a whole situation oh well yeah she could because she can she can become dark at the end of the season whatever and that's really her perspective you know the dark. no 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 okay i, I already saw revenge of sith i've seen it but my point what i'm saying is that i want to see in start of the season the perspective of the dark side and for multiple episodes you can't establish the standard of like this is not what you're telling what you pitch so that's 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 just my thing so i just want to point out i want to his, his yeah. riz didn't just work on you mike it worked on all of us but go ahead go ahead. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, you know? so i'm gonna say I mean, something just... <laughs> you say something real controversial oh that's the first i'm gonna be careful first. how i'm gonna be careful how i say it can we get a close-up can we get a close-up 
if Dizzy can control it, then yeah, but now I can get a control for me. Um, I feel like May, this whole entire time, we've not seen her use a lightsaber at all. Mm. And to be honest, out of everything in the flashback, one thing that I got from her was devotion. She was devoted to her people. Like, it wasn't like she she looked at it from the perspective, I don't know who these outside people are. I don't know what they're trying to sell. I don't trust them. I don't know them. They're going to do our family harm. Don't don't give them anything. It's, and so this whole entire time, yes, she's been assassinating people. Yes, she's been doing the bidding, but she's also been moving with the fight or flight mentality. A lot of it has been based on vengeance. Even he said it in this episode. It's more so about like coming against like somebody that wronged her. So she's misguided. But the thing about it with Osha, she wasn't, she was never that devoted to her original people. Like she she loved, she cared. I think she cares about people, but she wanted more. She she's always been more curious than anything. I've actually, since looking at the flashback, I've always looked at Osha as possibly being that one that's going to turn like I, i'm not even gonna lie to you like i've always looked at it it's always been the opposite for me i've never looked at it that it was gonna go that route the thing about it for this episode in all honesty the fact that she knowingly knew what went down what he did who he killed and she still like just continued to wonder and was curious it's almost like she's trickling down that seems that hole back when she was with her own people. And so she's never really found her footing and he's just using it. But I think it's always been in her. That curiosity leads to dark places. Mm-hmm. And it's just, to me, it's such a, I, that part of the writing is the most interesting thing to me, which is why I've always said since the last episode, I was like, this doesn't have anything to do with the Jedi. This is more so about the mortality of where these girls are going to go. And I, at this point now, especially her putting the helmet on, there was absolutely no reason for her to do that. He tainted her and he gave her all these different small little trinkets, but she bit all of it. Like she chose to do that. And it's like, May, I feel like Soul did them dirty. And May's been one of his neck more than anybody. That's why she waited him for last. But we don't know the depths of what he did. And I think it's more so like a scar on May more than anything else. But mm. I, I've always looked at Ocha as being the one. I, it's not everything that he's risen her up in this episode. It was always there. That curiosity was always there. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think May, especially when she realized that, you know, her master was about to kill her, she was fight or flight. She's been fight or flight. So, yeah, I don't look at May as a dark Jedi. I don't look at her as a Seth. I look at somebody that's been fight or flight. She has more to gain being on the light side than Osha does to me, in my honesty, especially after what's gone down. At this I mean, point. she can't leave her sister to die. I mean, <laughs> she shot her sister. She shot her sister. Point out, matter of fact, the moment that she saw her sister, she was more enraged. As a matter of fact, he said it in the episode. He was like, it's interesting that you have more devotion to soul than your bringing sister. him up. Than yeah. your sister. That means you're showing hatred and less a concern about everybody else than this man that you didn't devote it to, quote unquote. Why is that? And so I, yeah, you take it off me. No, no, no. I, I, I love that you said that because even when you were when we were watching her get the helmet, I, I kept saying to myself, this is like when she was a kid and she saw that there was people outside coming in, and, you know, oh look at the, the Jedi, look how they hold the lightsabers, and her wanting to experience that it's the same thing except now she's older and she's gone through some shit and i just it's it's very very <laughs> fascinating um fellas do we i i want to just get this out of the way and then we don't we don't have to dive deep into it unless you guys want to unknown planet is that octu can we just put that up that, that like it I is mean, octu i won't it be definitely. upset if it's not but i'm like it's very it, 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 it's the same way that, that location exactly. It looks it's exactly the same like way that when yeah. uh, in Rogue One, remember Rogue One, take it back, you know, you know, where in all the planets, you know, to give you know the description, you know, um, of Jeddah and you know, and every planet where, but they didn't give the planet that Vader was on, 
because we knew what planet he was on. It was on Mustafar. And I have to say, it was the exact same thing. We're like, wait, is that? Yes, it is. Yes, When's it the is. last time we've seen Unknown Planet? <laughs> and, 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 and right. mm-hmm. <laughs> like, um, I, I don't know. I think I think it's easy. I think they took the seduction of the dark side very literally. I'm not not hating it. I, I, think, I think there's a market for this. I just want my spinoff miniseries of Die Hard Basil running through the air ducts of this spaceship. <laughs> just, just one man, one little ferret with thing just against all these. I love it how that man saw Saul turn off the communicator. Was like, I ain't even arguing, big dog. I'm be out. <laughs> yeah, um, he knew for me. Was, uh, <laughs> like, we talk about that. What do you think? I'm gonna ask y'all straight up. Like, what do y'all think? What were y'all? What was y'all's impression the moment that? Basil dip said it and he like turned off the comms and then jettisoned his way out. What was going on through y'all's mind? Because I mean, for me, I've never trusted soul. Since I found out what went down, I was like, nah, it's some dirt. He's he's some trash. I don't but what was going through y'all's mind? I'm like, he it's 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 right. arrogant right. and it's a, and it's it's arrogant <laughs> exactly and it's in some ways. Right. Oh Jesus right. <laughs> I am gonna live, I'm gonna live. <laughs> They don't know how long my species live. I can show up in movies for years. I'm out of here. <laughs> um, Soul's choice was arrogant, and yet it's almost kind of even through him, which is almost tragic. Now, it's mistakes like this that sent the Jedi down the the, the toilet later on, like keeping it hushed, keeping it in, in the house, keeping it. In some ways, <laughs> as, as a character, it's almost it comes off cavalier. That like, yo, I started this mess. I'm gonna finish it one way or another. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna settle this once and for all. But you're in a big organization, a big religion, if you will. And the fact that they got there as soon as he dipped, they got there. And, and yeah, it's, that was weird. Too. And how much those Jedi, the Jedi and the Padawans, if you were, or whoever went with her, how now they're perceiving, wait, what did happen here? So in, in some regards, Soul is digging himself in a deeper hole. But, and again, I, I know, I know you've been, you've been, um, uh, not trustworthy of him since that revelation of what happened 16 years ago. I'll, all I'm saying is, and I'll say it until it is proven in the flashbacks, and then I will throw my keyboard across the fucking wall. Saul didn't start the fire. I don't think he started the fire. I think he was the one trying to negotiate something, trying to keep the peace, but he was in a shady situation, and what made it worse is that he kept it hushed for 16 fucking years. I think um, it's proven he'd be I, bullied into keeping secrets. And that may be the secret he's been keeping for the good. It, 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 I, I see that more than anything else is that he's been told that he's been, he might've been corrupt, not corrupted, I guess, influence could be corruption of like the silence is the best for everybody. So like, like I know you're, you want to say something. I don't know if a sister controlled the, the little guy from game of Thrones or whatever to burn. I don't know. Right. What happened, exactly. Like they were but, all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, that's where I see Saul going, and I see that his guilt is. If I had to justify some of the decisions he's making, I would say that his guilt is influence informing some of his behaviors. Bro, what if because because those shit I failed. That's why I become a Jedi. I failed. What if um, Saul pulled a uh, Pete Maverick and like flunked her deliberately, and he's like, mm. "I don't want you to be a Jedi." And but why? Why? Because we're we're not good. We're not we're not a hundred percent there yet. We. We've done some bad shit, and I don't want you to, to, to go down the same route I did. And in some regards, because he, you know, he says you care about Saul more than your own sister. I think he's realizing it. Fuck, I'm not a Jedi. I'm a father. I'm trying. I'm, I've been trying to be a father, and I've been failing at that point. And it's just like, it's, I imagine if obviously he, did he has that. an attachment. He has a, obviously he has an attachment to her that yes. he probably shouldn't have, and he had an attachment to uh, his other Padawan too that could have been a surrogate for her. Um, I don't buy that though. I don't because just the way he he was just talking to me, like you know, I waited sixteen years. Thank to see you. What I'm gonna, what oh, I'm gonna tell you. Thank you. Mike. That's not somebody. That's not somebody that's just saying like, oh, I feel guilty that I'm so sorry, man. Like, no, I got you where I want you now. And now, mm, y'all read a totally different time. tone than I read into this. No, so, no, I mean, we, no we, we, it's, we can it's go, the mannerisms. It's I mean, but also, valid, though, but also I've said. been tied to tables before, so maybe I'm a little. This is mannerisms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, to, to be quite honest, like again, I think that he knew who she was, and he was trying to allow her to kind of play it by numbers. Because the thing, the subtle hints he was giving, he was like, you know, 
this joy and you cared and have so much devotion towards it and love things. He was trying to find a way of her not immediately attacking him so he could get his point across. Both both sides were doing the same exact thing. Soul was doing it his own way. And I think the other guy was doing his own way with Osha. The difference is I do think that there may be some guilt there, but I, I think he died. I have to say this, man. Say it. He, say he's some say dirt. Well, I, th- I really do think he was absolutely involved. And I think what was even, uh, the reason why I say that is because his superior officer, when she went down there, like she knew what was up. She knew for a fact Soul didn't do that. But she was so quick to brush that under the rug because in her mind, in my mind, she's looking at it like, all right, let me count the odds here. We got a random road Jedi that kind of lost camera. Or we talk about this unknown force that we have no control over. We have no idea what he's capable of, but he wiped out everybody. Eh, it's better to let a random Jedi that just lost his mind out of guilt take the hill. She didn't directly say it, but she let that go through. And I'm like, if that's if that's from the leadership standpoint, I, I, I'm, I'm only assessing this because when he looked and he could have immediately talked about it as soon as he was like, ah, uh, let me get out of here. I, that, that for me, that's guilt, bro. Like, he's he doing something else, Shady. Well, maybe if we had more context, but we don't even know why she's hiding all this stuff. The bald headed green lady, we don't know. Like, they, they, we get, the, they get a sense that a senator wants to do an order of the Jedi. What are you afraid that they're going to find? Because what we understand is they're keeping something from the, co- so this is middle management. From, right, from the Senate. Keep, they want to yeah. keep the Senate. Right. They're keeping something from the council and keeping something from the Senate. So what are they keeping that we don't have the stakes for this? You know what I mean? So all we know is she's framing Saul. She sent the team to die. According to the timeline of the show, it takes minutes to get to wherever they were. <laughs> like, so because he made the phone call and they left pretty soon after that. So I I don't know the I don't know the political stakes, and I think that's a failure of the writing. I, I don't know what the pressure is of keeping the secret. Mm. I, I I don't know what that but is. I will I will say this with Soul is that what he said to Osha when she was a child, is that when she says she wants to be a Jedi, like why you why you why are you lying to us and everything, right? You know, well, I don't want to disappoint my sister and everything. Like you really you want, you know, um is she putting that on his head? No, no. <laughs> But well, I think I think they might reenact the scene later. But anyway, um, but when he said that you want to be a Jedi, whatever, you know, so like, yeah, I'm like, well, then you need to be strong enough to tell the truth. Right. That was a big thing he said about telling the truth. It's how you, you know, <laughs> um, be a Jedi and everything. But then it's like, what is the biggest hypocrisy than someone who's hiding that right. lie? Those broken yeah. promises. Yeah. And, right. and, and again, I, I honestly think. He wanted these two girls, and he wanted the dip set. And I, I, I mean, whether or not he thought that they were going to burn everybody down to get it, I don't know. But I absolutely feel like he he had a intent going there. Like I think he wanted both of them, but at the point that he realized, yeah, man, ain't about that life. And I think it's this. It's it's so weird because May's Seth Master felt the same as that way. Yeah, nah, I can't control her. I can't. So she got too much going on. So, so let's go to the weird possibility. Jedi are the villains, right? Let's say the Jedi are the villains. Mm. Let's say they knew that these two twins were existing. Let's say the twins fulfilled the prophecy of either Kylo or Anakin, right? Whoa, hold on. You're going a whole different route. No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. So let's say because we know they were spying on them, right? We know the planet wasn't in a republic. We know the Jedi does not sanction taking children, right? Because if you don't, and they kind of they kind of reinforce this in here. It doesn't fit with some of the other Disney shows now, but if Hmm. you don't use the force through if you don't train for the force, then your power atrophies and you can't really use it. So you're not a threat. So the Jedi don't steal kids. So let's say that Trinity is the master of this group and is like, hey. I think that these children, maybe with the green-headed girl, I don't know her backstory in, in, in High Republic, uh, woman. Um, hey, these children are being born. They're being trained by these offshoots of wit- witches. We need those children. They can't, da, da, da. we can't trust them to be out there. They'll be a threat. I know it goes against the Jedi code or the Jedi rules. I know it goes against the selective um, jurisdiction, jurisdiction. I'm saying it wrong. Jurisdiction. Of the, of the, of the Republic. 
but we're we'll, this is this has to be a necessary evil. So we're gonna go try to convince them, but we're gonna get those kids. Saul, who seems to be a young Jedi Knight. The other guy was a Padawan. Uh, I don't know how old the Wookiee could be 100 years old for all we know, or 500 years old. Um, they go to get the kids. They, their last resort is to go by, like, just take the kids, but something goes wrong, right? Saul is a knight just following this master around. I think she was Saul's master. Did they say that? I'm not sure. I don't think they've said that, but they, yeah, I know they were good. friends. They, they were friends at that time as well, I think. Okay. And he got wrapped up in this, and it got out of control. And so he grasped it. So that's the secret, right? And that, that that's, the, that's the only thing that makes sense is that some middle management set of Jedi, and they mentioned Splinter Cells and stuff, did their own thing. They can't tell the council because they weren't supposed to do it. They can't let the Republic know because they weren't supposed to be stealing kids. And and that's what sets this for it. Because if, if it's not something like that, none of this other stuff makes any sense to me. I don't know. Maybe y'all guys have a different... No, that's that's that's, that's the way I've seen it, that like Master and Dara, the, the Carrie Ann Monson character, was probably the one who's started this um and because Saul wasn't maybe the, the point guard of, of that of that group if you will he followed suit and even then he was conflicted about what he was doing again and and I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not for everybody who's watching this I think Sam and Mike's interpretation of of that uh, strapped in the table is valid it's just and Leslie I hope to God not you're really gonna gonna break my heart and piss me off I I don't think he just went about and just cold-blooded slashed him style i'm being like yeah. either you give us the kids or you die i don't think he went about that way he was about um, to do it just an episode ago no i think it, i think it's out of control. <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking I, uh, I know, <laughs> but that's again it's a valid point i'm like okay you're, you're deliberately showing us these shots and moments as a choice so also he stopped from killing um uh jason i can't remember this dark Kimir? side name Kamir, because she's like no like somebody's gonna kill a bunch of like <laughs> witches, cold belly, and burn him alive. Probably OSHA like, had him stop. OSHA. OSHA, OSHA had him. He's stop. like, no. Oh, you're right. <laughs> like, like, so I I I I think that could I think that could be it. I, I don't think he's I don't think and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I just don't see it supported yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think he knows May's not gonna listen unless she's tied down to listen. I think he I think you're right. He tried to do it the I think he tried to do the same thing she tried to do, but then he we realized, oh no, she's gonna shank me real quick. <laughs> 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 um, but they gotta make it make sense. But there's no way Kiati Moon Day comes out of here not looking like an asshole. Like, like there's 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 no way. And if you didn't care about him because you didn't read legends or stuff like that, I I completely understand. I'm not gonna harp on the age thing or anything like that. Yeah, but if you did, if he was your favorite Jedi. Because oh. he was somebody's favorite Jedi. Ain't no way he getting out of this not looking like an asshole. <laughs> and again, for for folks watching the review, the show has the tools. It has the stuff there. It has the juice. It's just that for some, the the um, the execution is not one hundred percent there. I mean, and again, not- up to this point, I was like, I'm with you, show. But five, six episodes now, I'm like. We don't have that 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 red herring, if you will, of a flashback out the way and going forward. And it's and it's I'm feeling it now. Yet, thank God they cast it, in my opinion, well. Even with with with, with um what they what they're giving Amanda Amanda Stelmberg, I think she's doing a lot with what she's given. I'm with the show. I'm gonna watch it to the end, and I'm very intrigued because there's somebody else who's been casting the show that they have not shown us yet. And I'm like, that's a deliberate choice. And I'm wondering how much they're gonna tease that or leave that be like a post credit scene, if you will. You just tease me. I, I don't know. I don't even is. know what you're talking about. There's yeah. there's an actor. Um, what's his name? I don't want to know. No, no, okay, no, no, cool. don't spoil it. Cool. I, but I have know. a question for you, right? Do you think? Uh, I think this could have been a three episode miniseries. Like, if you didn't want to make a movie out of it. I've seen nothing so far that you couldn't have done in like a three. Ep- remember miniseries back? I'm old. Oh yeah, I remember miniseries the miniseries back oh, yeah. in the day, like. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and all that stuff. It could have just been everything doesn't have to be a episode. <laughs> and maybe I'm that's just, where you're losing the story you want to tell. Yeah, I I'm mean, just, what was that uh giant Fear Street on Netflix? It it mm. could have been something like that. And I was gonna ask Busy because honestly, I mean, we said this, we talked about it before. I think it's hard for people when they don't have a complete story or complete narrative that makes sense. If it isn't lining up or making sense and you're not going anywhere, you just keep spinning me, there's not enough justification for it to be payment. So I understand that. From a critic side of me, 
I'm fine. I see stuff all the time. So it's fine. Right. I was going to ask Busy's perspective of with this not being a complete story, with us honestly, probably really this at this point, we might not get the flashlight to the last episode. <sighs> I, I, I'm saying that to prove a point. Yeah. Because people's minds are turning like, how long is it going to take to get here? Like, why are you keep spinning these wheels? So when there's special moments or good moments, we're taking those like, uh, does it mean anything? Because I don't have any context or foundation. Even so if no. there's a written foundation there, if like like Aunt said, like if this was a movie or like a three movie art or something like that, we would have already got to this point and then went to the next thing. But I was going to ask Busy's perspective because Busy's been talking a while. Yeah. So um, realistically, there has been a scene or two in each episode that has had my attention. But overall, and I really hate to use this term, but I feel like a lot of it's been milked. And um, mm. like like Ant said, I feel like they could have kind of summed this up in a, in, in a fewer amount of episodes. And usually I'm on the train of, hey, why are we only getting six episodes? Or why are these episodes only 30 minutes? But realistically, it just feels like... like I, I just I don't I don't feel as pulled in as I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like they have an end goal, but they're just stretching so much in order to get that result. And it's just I don't know. It's uh kind of eating at me at times because there's times where I'm invested, but then there's times where I'm just like, okay, like this did this scene didn't need to take ten minutes to get through, or at least feel like it was ten minutes. I don't know. But that's just and, kind of where I stand. And that's why I wanted to ask Busy because again. I, I now I'm different. Like I don't go into stuff with any kind of anticipation or anything. I don't even watch trailers anymore. Cause True. I don't want I don't want any preconceived notion in my head of where I think the plot needs to go. I, I love not knowing anything about a high cast. I know I love not knowing anything about I Republic. Um because for me, I'm just along for this freaking ride. Like I'm like, <laughs> all right, it's cool. It's oh, this was stupid. Like I'm just gonna see where it goes. But I understand from all of you guys' perspective if you feel differently. Anybody out there watching, that's why we had our live Q&A, because I wanted people to be at an event and talk about it, but it, it can still be justified. If people are looking at this and are fine with it, let them be. But if they have issues with it, it's still valid. It's not It's not an issue with that. Yeah, like, and, and, and what you like, to me, Star Wars should be a big enough universe that you could have this fourth wing um, quarter, summer court thing of book type series where you have this dark romance. You could have that. Yeah. But, but I, I think you did yourself a disservice because objectively the first half of the season didn't really give you anything. We didn't really start right. talking about anything until like last episode and this episode, like, really. Right. And right. and I, I'm not saying to be a hater. I, I, I think I've said this at the beginning. The bones of a good story have been here. Like the the yeah. the, the bones of a good story can be can be can be here. It's just Something about the execution, and 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 let's be honest, that's not always on the creators or the directors. It could have been a mandate, for all we know, that right. this needs to fill Oof. this much time. Yeah. And um, and I think I think another thing is is some some of the 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 way this is not what do you not edited, but like chopped up in the I don't know what, you, what the term is, but chopped up in the episodes. I, was, I think still, yeah, huh? that's I was something that is not that, it feels that way. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that I think that's doing a disservice, disservice too, if that makes sense. In some regards, I feel that with what we've gotten of storytelling, if Pat, besides episode one and maybe two, if episodes three and four, if episodes five and six were combined and they were close to an hour long episode, and we had just only been what three weeks, four weeks into the show. I think mm. we'd be in a completely different state of absorbing the story and feeling how they're executing it wise because now we're six weeks technically five but six weeks into this series and you're like i know something something happened with some someone this and this person what are we doing now it feels like now i'm i'm caught up and i'm just waiting for the show to catch up with me and where i'm processing it um in some regards i do feel like that that like if if Four of these episodes were more combined and would have been two instead of four. I think we'd probably be in a different we have we'd be having a different conversation. And uh maybe not digging the 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 story that was presented to us, but execution-wise, we'd be uh in a different scenario. 
And listen, for Kamir, the reveal, I was so mad that we lost Jackie that I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's the guy we a lot of us were thinking of. The reveal wasn't that big deal to me. I was like, cool. Let's move on. Let's move on. This episode, I'm like, okay, where the hell is he from? What the hell happened there? Yeah, did we get revealed that he was a Jedi? Or was he just lying? He said, like, I, like, I, I mean, we Jedi. can't. I don't know. I don't he's know. A, if he's an unreliable, relatable, unreliable narrator. I yep. think. Right. Yep. That's uh, why I, I said like, you know, when, I, when, when, the, when he showed the scars, she said, "Where well, you got the scars?" I, I jokingly said, "My father was a drinker." You know. I was <laughs> <laughs> what if? <laughs> what if it's a lightsaber whip? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I, I want to give this show props though for some of its. Uh, I always talk about how they don't really think about how things affect the universe. Mm. Adding this metal into it, having him have a strategy, having his unorthodox style be, I am just one with the force, like they taught us to be as yet, like where we just cut off our sentences and we just let the force guide us. And how I, I liked all of that. That part of the yeah. that part of the of of why he's so fearsome in combat. It's not necessarily a raw power thing, but it's he's using these tactics to make up for numbers. I mean, uh, to to even the odds against numbers, I guess. So right. I thought that was a, a nice add add into that. So like, like I said, I think the bones of something is really. I think there's something here. Mm -hmm. It's just the uh, you know I'm just waiting for my basil mini series. I'll be good. So do you think <laughs> if they if, if they had started it with him or started mm. it with more of a um like his background because again like i've been saying like the show is acolyte like it's this is going the whole point of this show is to go towards the dark turn and show the darker perspective mm -hmm. and we're so conditioned and used to either one the middle ground or just what the quote-unquote high ground of the jedi so it's like that's the thing that made me interested about the show to begin with and i've been slowly but surely getting it but I, I can imagine people being confused if they're watching these trailers and being like, oh, wow, we got Jedi. Oh, wow, we got lightsabers. And like, wait, where are we going with this story? So I, I can imagine people's like confusion with it. But it's like I, I always go in my head like this is really not about the Jedi. Um, it's not even about the fall of the Jedi. It's, it's about the gaps. Like gaps are the thing that like are the pitfall for anybody. Like mm -hmm. you can miss a step and somebody judge you for it. You can mm -hmm. be turning something in and somebody say, oh, they're a slacker. Or you could go and do something just for a second. It changes your life forever. You're in prison for the rest of your life. And it, it may have been that this situation was a lapse in judgment, but it changes the scope for everyone. And because they're higher, they're, they held with a higher standard. Um, and anytime you have anybody like at a higher standard, they, they're still human. So it's, it's, I mean, that's the thing that's so fun about this. But I, again, I can imagine if they would have started with that route, it would have been very different. But I don't know mm -hmm. if more people would have been enticed to watch it. I think that's the thing, the crux of Disney. A lot of times they do things from a marketability standpoint to bring people in, and then they end up losing the target artist because they push the narrative from the marketing standpoint. So that's why I was asking if, he, if they would have started with a more darker route with just kind of showing him as a kid or something like that. Would y'all think that they did that? I don't know. I'm just curious. Y'all, I, I was I, when they described the show. I was thinking they were going to do. If you play Knights of Republic online or anything like that, you can go through the dark side, like Sith Academy, yep. and you're portraying yep. people and things like that. I thought that's what I thought that's what we were going to get when we got a description of the show. I thought we were going to see a, a Sith point of view of training, how they're different, and then maybe they kill Jedi and stuff like that. But that's their their, their job, you know. That's I, I really wanted a dark side series. Um, I think I might have missed something. Do y'all think that I, I'm, I'm trying to take it, but I, I thought about this. Do y'all think that maybe the stakes for the Jedi are they fail this audit and they become more of a dog or a lap tool to the Republic, and that's what leads them into that weird relationship in the um, prequels? Mm. In the prequels, like maybe that's the stakes mm. here. If that if, makes sense, like if, like they fail this audit, like because some shady stuff went on. And they're like, look, you guys need to be all right. The chancellor now will be over y'all, and he, but he won't go too far. He, it's not like he's going to appoint a padawan or a knight to the council or anything like that. <laughs> but you got to report to the chancellor. We want y'all to the two masters are going to meet with the chancellor twice a week <laughs> and let us know what you're doing. Right. Yeah, it, I'm sure it'll it be fine. Feels that way, guys. It'll be fine. Because 
the, the even when um Vernestra, which is the, the the character that you guys kept that you kept alluding about the green uh, lady who's from the books, her having that convo in privacy with that senator, that felt odd. That felt oh. like stuff that would happen in Clone Wars. I'm like, yo, why is this being why is it so quiet? Why is it so private? This convo with another senator and how the high council yeah. is still not involved. That is just like yeah. again, folks, just, it's there. It's just oh. And I'm sorry, Sam, I didn't mean to get off the, the point that you had. I just, I was thinking about that. No, I mean, it still sticks to the same as that thing. It's like, I mean, I don't know. It's gaps. Those gaps in between are the, hmm. I, I think that's the thing that's interesting for me about all this. Um, it's just, I can imagine a lot of people are like, dude, when are we getting to this flashback so I can know how I feel about all this? Because some people are emotionally compromised with the fact that like, eh, a dead eye would never do this. Like some people are dead on convinced, like, no, they had nothing to do with this fire. This was coerced, like the witches attacking first, it was initiated, like not like somebody broke protocol. But for me, one of the Jedi was willing to die, to commit suicide out of his own guilt. Even Carrie Ann Moss is like when she was like, I've been waiting for you. Like a lot of people say, like, oh, she, you know, died in front, and that's how you know May was able to kill her. But I think that. She was willing to take that L. Like, she knew what was coming. Like, so you have to justify that answer at the end. You have to justify that it was so bad he killed himself. You have to justify yeah. that she was willing to put her life in danger to not simply disarm. Because we've seen, for all this Jedi don't attack unarmed people, we have seen Jedi slice off limbs. <laughs> like, all since we've been kids in these PG uh, movies, we have seen decapitations uh, and mutilations as the peaceful meme in the conflict. So... So, um, uh, yeah, so, th so that answer has to pay off. It can't be like, it was an accident. That's why I'm killing myself. It has to be, I I'd be very surprised if mind control isn't involved in this some as somehow, but yeah. Yeah. Um, whew. I'll say this about this episode. We, it got us talking. It got us talking. It got us talking and thinking. I'll give it that about this episode. Um, folks. We're going to wrap up our review about episode six of The Acolyte. Uh, I am going to be here till it concludes, and then I will go give my full interpretation of the show as a whole. I hope a lot of people go about that way. If they've gone six episodes in, um, respectfully, um, which I just <laughs> thanks so much. Th a, thanks so much for waiting for me. Um, B, uh, thanks so much for, for being part of this uh, reaction series, if you will. Um, and where can people find you? Right here on JV. And what's your rating of the episode? Yes. Uh, okay. So rating, I'm going to give it a B. I think Jason did a really good job of like being seductive. And... <laughs> <laughs> come here. Come here for the, for the act like audience. Oh, come here. Come here. I think come here did it. a very good job. <laughs> of, uh... That man said Jason this whole <laughs> So Y'all know who Jason is. This is Jason. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, look for the good. Just watch the good places. A good show, and you, and you will see. Yeah, it's about death. <laughs> it's about death. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So Kamir, I think, made this episode for me. It was it was a solid B, and I also like the fact that they didn't write Saul as Soul. Is it Soul? That Saul. they didn't write Saul. They didn't write uh, him as dumb as we were fearing. Because we kept going like, he's no way he don't know. It's no way he doesn't know. It's no way to, oh, okay, okay. And Basil, so straight B. Um, yeah, guys, just at this point, just just see how it, I, I think I'm hoping, this is my sincere hope, that those last few episodes bring this all together and we can go, oh, okay. I'm good, yeah. I'm good with that. Um, Jenna Mike, what is your rating and uh, final thoughts on the show? And where can people find you? Um, yeah, you can find me on Jedi Mike Seven on YouTube, right here. Oh, right, ooh, right here. There you go. And uh, Instagram and stuff. Do I'll be breaking this down as well? Um, yeah, I'm kind of mid with this. I kind of give this. Um, I give this a B minus again. Um, I, and like I said, I don't like the characters like Chimera, and, and so again, I mean, I'm this is now becoming an episode of crazy Sith Asians, and you know, I'm I'm here for it, you know. <laughs> Um, and um, yeah, they're carrying the show. Oh my god, uh, we, I wish that we would have gotten a movie oh or something like god. this. 
we kind of you know chop this up a they little bit. Shut us down. Um, <laughs> but um, but no, no, no. I mean, no. I mean, seriously. I mean, I, I like. I mean, look at him. He's gorgeous. The, the darm definition and everything. Listen, oh, no, that was for the ladies. Episode so for the ladies. This episode was for the ladies. He went in. He did. He did that little. Um, he went to the water that came out. I thought he about to do that. That twilight eclipse. You know how the vampires came out of the water, sparkling and stuff. I, you know, so and sparkle and you know, and the water sparkle and, all over your body. Yeah. Um. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think that actor is doing a good job. Again, I, I saw the interviews he was doing. He does care about this character and does care about what he's doing, and and I, and I can see it, and I, and I appreciate him for that. Um, again, so these two characters, I wish they just in a different story, and I like to see more of them and everything. But um, see, I'm gonna give this a B minus, and um, I'll look. Uh, I'll I'll be here for next week and ready to see this flashback episode, and hopefully see you know. To how the Jedi are pressure oppressors with these whips and stuff. See, <laughs> you know, like, you know, and busy. And they, and they had to get rid of them. So, they had um, a mandate. I think I'm, I'm going to give this episode a B. Uh, I I don't know, man. I mean, I'm really loving what they're doing with uh uh. God, I keep forgetting his name. K- K- Kamir. 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 Kamir's character. I'll He's been the most interesting part, other than uh, Basil. Um, but I am. <laughs> Looking forward to more. Well, I'm interested in more. But um yeah, you can find me. Busy Brown everywhere, busy reactions on Instagram and uh Team JBS doing reviews and reactions over at Ronan's channel. Nice. Nice. Um <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, Jay. I'm like, Jesus. No, 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 no. no. Safe word. Okay, that's we're safe. How, that's we're how safe. the green lady was like, listen. <laughs> He's had he had those flashes for a reason. I think oh, he Jesus. he got whipped by her. I uh, wow. He was like, "What's your I, name? Come here. No, what's your name, Jason? What's your name?" <laughs> I like the way you you sit, boy. Um. Anyways, um. Uh, you can find me at Ronan Chain on YouTube on the socials. Um. <laughs> so poor Sam. I, I feel bad yet. This is the funniest shit ever. Um. Find me uh, on the YouTube socials. I give this rating of a B. Um. I'm I'm very, very I'm I'm hopeful I'm I'm very I hope we land it where Ant told we're like all right okay now all this makes sense after those six eight weeks we've been with this show, um, and I think just to 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 echo what Sam had said about him not wanting to watch the trailers and and going to stuff if you will with pre uh, preconception, this is the first Star Wars show in a while I had done that. And how it started felt really good, not knowing Jack. So, having said that, hopefully that, hopefully that that pays off. Where I didn't bother diving deep into a lot of lore videos and the books and stuff. Samuel, rating, how are we feeling? <laughs> I just left y'all a comment. Um, <laughs> as far as the rating, I'm gonna give this a B plus. Um, actually. I actually dig in how the gaps are kind of slowly coming together. I do think that this would have been more intriguing and more exciting if these were kind of like movies. If it was like kind of maybe like a trilogy, like just for Disney Plus or something like that. Um, but yeah, nah, I sold some dirt. And uh, yeah, Jason is, he's the freaking man. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> he seduced you. He seduced you. <laughs> so, so this is the weird thing. It, it, was, it was a lot of sexual tension going on between <laughs> Amelia and both of these men, and I felt really uncomfortable personally. That's the anime. Um, that, that was that was really. I don't know. I had to say it because it was really weird. But um, I do think that to listening to you guys, as much as I like said what I said, I do think that they are stretching this through, and I don't know if they're stretching it because they're like, oh, well, this is something that isn't touching anything that we're working on right now. It's 100 years in the past. We can maybe bridge this into a second season and stretch it. Oh. I, am gr- I am concerned that that is happening because it kind of feels like that at times. But I'm all the way along for the ride. I'm just waiting for the moment where this is all the way going down the darkest side ever. So B plus for me. Yeah, We got bondage. We got whips. We got a new baby. <laughs> <laughs> we got nudity in a Star Wars movie. We got, we, we got, we got, we, 
why, why, why are you with somebody that can't go deep? Like, That's the closest that we got deeper. to that Eternals uh, sex scene. That was the yeah. closest we got to that. What the heck is going on, Mike? He he, he, he went he to join Kamir and Elsha. Uh, my, my, com- oh, my, uh, my, camera, my camera died on me. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, like, yo, uh, darkness uh, has gotten him. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, it, was that, it was that Riz. It was that Riz. That he Riz. got me too good. I got me too good. I was like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> Pause. All right, we're gonna go, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ronan. Thank you, Busy. Thank you, Aunt Gold. Thank you, Jedi Mike. We'll be back next week, y'all. Hopefully, hopefully we got a banger coming. Peace, y'all. Four five one. Filing out the top of the wall. I can see skyline. Fifty mile radius on the timeline. Ain't nothing on my mind.